Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Moss, and in this video, I'm going to introduce you to Event IQ in ITSI. A big challenge in IT operations is identifying the root cause of an issue from a high volume of alerts generated by multiple monitoring tools. Splunk ITSI addresses this problem using notable event aggregation, but this requires administrators to manually create and maintain complex aggregation policies that don't adapt well to changes over time. Event IQ uses AI to automatically analyze and group related alerts into actionable episodes. The result is a significant reduction in alert volume, which helps teams cut through the noise and accelerate root cause analysis. It identifies patterns and correlations between notable events in order to group them together into episodes, even if the field names and the events don't match. Event IQ's algorithm understands your service topology and alert timing, allowing it to correlate cascading failures across your entire system. And it's incredibly simple to set up. You can enable Event IQ in minutes and then let the AI handle the heavy lifting of data normalization and pattern discovery so your team can focus on solving problems. And it learns from your team's feedback to improve its accuracy when grouping notable events and it shows you exactly why alerts were grouped. Now that we've done a high-level introduction, let's see it in action. I'm currently in the Service Analyzer of ITSI. In order to enable Event IQ, I'll navigate to the Configuration dropdown and select Event Management. We'll then create a notable event aggregation policy. I'll select the Create Policy button. And in the policy configuration page, we can include filtering criteria. I'm going to add a new rule to this policy. So we'll only include notable events in an episode if the service name matches wildcard buttercup wildcard. Now under the event IQ section, I can group alerts into episodes when uh, the fields that I specify contain the same values. Right now, uh, host is the only uh, field added. Now, this is a more manual way and potentially more brittle way of defining a policy. And rather than selecting fields myself, I can just activate Event IQ and it will dynamically decide which fields to utilize in order to correlate and group alerts into an episode. So I'm going to toggle Event IQ and make it active. And once it's active, I can select a time window over which it will analyze notable events. So I'll select Run Analysis. And once it performs the analysis, I can see the results of what episodes it would create for the events that it finds over that period. And after it runs the correlation, I get a summary that identified 10 fields across 553 notable events that were selected for event correlation. And it also tells me what were the key or most important fields that were used for grouping, which included uh, the service ID and service name. After it runs the analysis, I can open advanced settings. And from here, I can actually change the importance of the fields that it identified for correlation. And if I wanted to, I could resort their importance to impact the output and how it groups notable events. And now that it's run the analysis, I'm going to preview the results. And based on the 553 notable events, it would result in 68 episodes being created. And for each episode, we can see the number of notable events that were grouped into that episode. I'm going to proceed with the policy creation and select Next. And then we can define action rules. The purpose of an action rule is to automatically perform tasks based on the state or properties of an episode. For example, you can define an action rule to send an email to a specific distribution list if the severity of the episode is critical. For this particular policy, I'm not going to set any action rules. And I'll just give it a title and then create it. So now that the policy has been created, we can review the episodes that Event IQ created in episode review.
From the episode review dashboard, I can filter on the policy that I just created to see only the episodes related to that policy. If I scroll down, I can see a list of episodes that were created automatically by Event IQ. To tell if an episode was created by Event IQ, just take a look at the notable event count on the left hand side. If it was generated by Event IQ, you'll see this AI icon next to the event count. Let's open up this episode. This episode specifies that the APM rate has been unhealthy for 15 of the last 15 results and has a severity of critical. Let's take a look at the notable events included in this episode. I see several notable events listed like the APM rate and the RUM interaction count. But what I really want to understand is why did Event IQ decide to group these events together into an episode? To do that, let's take a look at the Common Fields tab. This tab shows me the common fields of the events. Under Common Fields, I'll select Show Event IQ Fields Only. These are the fields that Event IQ dynamically identified in each of the notable events that had common values. The field that stands out to me is Service Name, which is Buttercup Payment Service. All of these notable events shared the service name. If we take a look at the All Events tab again, we can see that the Buttercup Payment Service is mentioned in pretty much every notable event's description. This is great because we didn't have to specify the service name field when we were configuring this policy. As an administrator, you might not even be aware of the data schema and what fields are available that you might want to target. Instead, we can rely on Event IQ to dynamically identify the important fields to consider for grouping notable events. And as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, it's not just looking at common values across notable events. It's also analyzing your service topology and the timing of the events in order to correlate them. And Event IQ's algorithm is adaptive, so it will continuously tune to get more accurate groupings of notable events. By intelligently automating alert correlation and cutting through the noise, Event IQ delivers clear, actionable episodes. This prevents your team from being overwhelmed by alert storms and reduces the manual toil of configuring policies themselves. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, we'd love to hear your feedback. If you want to learn more about the power of ITSI, please check out our interactive game, the ITSI Academy at SplunkGames.com. Thanks for watching.